hit me that I was at the Olympics until I walked in. There was Olympic rings everywhere, and it was Olympic rings on the floor, on the beam, and I was like, wow, I'm really at the Olympics. I was really focused on my performance as a coach. How do I be better helping my athletes to perform? I try to tell Gabby not to think about the results. Driving to the arena was really nerve-wracking for me. I was so nervous. I was listening to music and getting motivated, but I was also really nervous. I was like, oh my goodness, what if I do like bad? What if I like fall? Um, but I think, I think we did a pretty good start on vault. You know, it's like run down the vault ray and do you know, one scale. It wasn't her best, but it was pretty decent vault. Started on bars. I think that was that was good bars because I was uh, we have to be performing a, a decent bar routine in order to be not only ahead but has to be close to leading. That's just my strategy on my on my head. I never talked to a baby like that. I think it was just contagious, like Walt was good and I was so hyped and Bar was good and then it came to B and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I was so nervous because I've struggled on B. 2012 Beast Championships, I fell. On the balance beam, it's always a, a, a breaking through point for everybody. If you can hit your beam routine nicely, you're pretty much in comfortable situation. She did a wonderful job on beam again, and then I feel like I can breathe a little bit. And then we're heading out to floor exercise. Okay, I'm really nervous. And I was like, Chow, give me a pep talk. He's like, a what? I was like, a pep talk. He's like, what's that? I was like, you just like tell me something motivational. Just like focus, like don't worry about the scores, don't worry about your mom or the crowd, it's just me, you, and the equipment. That was a pretty nerve-wracking for me because everything went through just fine. And uh, she had some issues on that double back to jump off. And I was really focusing on her takeoff technique. And then when you have a better, a good takeoff technique, you're landing more naturally, gonna be there. When I started and the music like beep, I was so nervous at the point, I'm like, what if I mess up? Like, what if I take the wrong steps? What if I like get lost in my twisting? I, I was telling myself this is not as crucial as being, but I have to take it very every step. The preparation of to your athletes really cautiously because you could ignore some details and then she's making a mistake. So I was trying to tell myself not to making any small mistakes. First pass was good, and I was a little bit not scared to do my second pass, but a little nervous too, because uh, I think I stepped out of bounds a couple times, and I was like, no, oh, I don't want to step out of bounds. So I kind of went easy and light, and then everyone just kept clapping to my 14. I fed off the crowd's energy, so I was like, I'm going to do the last two tumbling passes for you guys. So I, um, I was really paying attention on that takeoff, and then I said that was a beautiful takeoff, and then she pops out beautifully. I go like, yes! <laughs> I had a, a very good feeling after she landed that double back, that was gold medal was hers. Going into the last event, we knew Gabby was in first, and Kamova was in second. Gabby's routine, she had a great routine. Her score came up, and uh, we quickly were calculating what Kamova's score had to be in order to beat Gabby. You know, and she's calculating all the scores and stuff like that, but I, you know, I'm sitting here in my chair and kind of like uh, down my hair, and I'm like, oh man. Kamova performed a beautiful routine as well, and it felt like forever before those scores <laughs> popped up. I was really nervous because after she finished, it was silence, like it was dead silence in the arena, and I was looking up, and like, she was looking up, and we both were looking up, and it just took a while for her score to pop up. I'm like, oh my gosh, did I do it, or did I get second? Just, we were 
tense and nervous and anxious. And the moment that popped up, it was just like everything came out. Pretty much saw everything. You pretty much see everything. You just couldn't see the inside of me burning. <laughs> If I if I tell you the truth, <laughs> when her score flashed up, uh, Chow's like, "You're an Olympic champion!" Like, wave, you're an Olympic champion. Everybody that she, I told everybody I knew, I was like, she's gonna win. I turned to her mom who was sitting next to me and we were crying. When that score pops up and you see she won the gold medal, it was just this, everything was worth it. All of her sacrifices were worth it. And here we are. I think just talking about it and looking at pictures, it brings back so many chills. When I was doing appearances and events, they would show like little clips on the screen. Just bring back so many like, great memories and that's why I want to do it again because it's just so fun and I think those memories last forever. Gabby has a tell uh, about competition. When she doesn't smile, it's going to be a bad move. But when she comes out and she's smiling, at her competition had better watch out because she's going to eat them up. When they came across and she was smiling, I was like, I was like the winner. I was like gold medal, gold medalist right here. I knew right away. I was like no one was going to touch her on that day. mixed feelings on taking her. So we were really hesitated. But I think it was a, a great experience for me that helped um, a kid who achieved her Olympic gold medal dream. I, I seen her the wonderful, wonderful eyes that is really wanting to be in the Olympic squad. She look at me, you know, it's, it's, it's really hard to say no when a kid in front of you that's saying, Coach Chow, please help me that I want to be in the Olympic Games. And I think you can, you can get me there. And I was, I just looking at her and like, Okay, I'll talk to Leah about it. <laughs> she is a sweet young lady, she really is, yeah. <laughs> and she works hard to oppress. <laughs> she got to your heart? Yes, she definitely. When she's melting your heart, it's hard to, to say no. Chow has a very deep relationship with those girls. He, he talks to, you know, he talks to me about Gabby, and he says she's my baby. You know, Chow looks at every single one of those girls as his own daughter, and she's like, she's my baby. You know, I miss her. You know, and he'd always tell me when she was gone, doing her endorsements and stuff throughout this last ten months. You know, and we'd be talking and we'd go out and dinner and stuff. Me and Chow would talk, and he's like, I miss her. You know, I want her to come back. I was like, yeah, so do I, Chow. I was like, and I was like, she will. I was like, when she's ready, she'll come back. Just on the road, I would go down to the hotel fitness centers and work out, do the treadmill, stretch. Like, I would be like <laughs> doing stretches like on the beds, like putting my foot up, doing over splits. Of course, nine months off will set her back on that. We're still trying to catch up with the things we left out. The first day back in the gym was just a great feeling for me because I hadn't been back in like like nine, ten months. So just seeing everyone, seeing Chow and my teammates was definitely 
um, incredible for me. But I was also sad. Like I was like, okay, I'm gonna try Arabian. I'm like, Arabian. <laughs> like, oh, it wasn't like 2012. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of expectations for her at this point, and uh, we are just in the beginning of the stage of a recovery. I am setting like little goals for myself, like baby steps, uh, just getting back in the Olympic shape, getting back the skills that I had, just take it one step at a time, and don't worry about, you know, competing this year, uh, just go in the gym, listen to Chow and Lee, and see what they have to say, and just follow up. Right now, it's a, a perfect timing for us to work on the little details, the basics, the, the preciseness, plus the conditioning and the flexibility. It's coming along really well. Yes, yes, that little line. Way different. So like day and night. <laughs> Sunshine and darkness. Beautiful. Beautiful. You can tell the difference, can you? Yeah. yeah don't do it then. Um, you're you're very patient. <laughs> <laughs> you're so patient. Uh I'm trying to be I don't feel like that, but I <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and I think I really like the slow cook. I think that bring up the bitter flavor. <laughs> First day in the gym, I just felt the equipment. I'm like, yes, it's so great to be back. Yes, good, good. Yeah, you don't have to fight. As long as you landed here, that's like a, a rocket shooting back, you'll be good. She was an Olympic champion, but she has not reached her full potential yet. After London, I told Natalie, I was like, give me three more years with her, three more years, and I'll deliver you a two-time champion. And I think if there's anybody out there that can do it, Gabby, Gabby's the one. Gabby can do it. I know she can. I've always wanted to do another Olympics. This experience right here is so much fun. Not only the win, but I had a lot of people tell me that I'm you know, a role model and I've inspired young girls. So that's also a treat for me. And you know, to say that I'm an Olympian, I mean, that's the best feeling in the world, knowing all your hard work has paid off. I mean, I love gymnastics. I love doing new skills. It's fun. Like, though there may be struggles and hard times, it's all part of the game. I feel the energy and uh, I feel the hunger out of her eyes that wanting to be back in the training floor and the competition floor and which I was looking for that. I am very looking forward for the challenges ahead of us. I love this sport. I mean, I don't want to retire just yet. I want to do it all over again. <laughs>